you guys. Welcome back. It's your girl. Let's see if I can make it a little bit better. Um. So y'all, I got this huge haul of stuff that I bought over a good amount of time. So I didn't just pick this stuff up like yesterday. And please excuse my eye. This eye is like, I don't know, it's bothering me right now. It's not acting right. So, um, y'all should go get a drink, go get some popcorn, go do something because this is gonna be a minute. Like y'all know how I do. Okay, people. And I did just do a hair tutorial and a one month um, hair check-in. So you can see what it looks like before, what it looks like after. Let me know y'all thoughts, all that good stuff. So, some of these things are gifts. Um, and it's from everywhere, you guys. I mean, Walmart, Walgreens, Ulta, just um, Lucretia. It's from all over. Okay, so this is a cologne and I picked this up. This smells fairly like the bomb. For real, for real. Um, oh, this is for her. See? For her. I'm digging that. This is really, really nice. This actually is for my mom. And then, you know, you've got to have this. So I went in for good old faithful. Um, and this smells super amazing too. So these were both at Walgreens and I think they were like $7.99. So there's that. Um, Sticking with the whole perfume situation, um, I have bought my aunt a fragrance. I don't have it because I sent it to her. Um, I actually got the wrong fragrance. It was by Lucretia. She gave me the one for men instead of the one for women. So when she resent it, she sent me um, the double version, which is like this big and about that wide as opposed to this. So anyway... Um, what I ordered for myself is the Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. And I'm so happy because this is really, really expensive. And I'm glad that I actually have it now. Um, you know. And I told you guys how these are. These are like roller balls and they're oils. I can smell it already. These do go rather quickly. So, um, but they were only five bucks. And this one is Hearts and Daggers by Ed Hardy. Um, Pretty Pistol 86 encouraged me to get both of these. Not encouraged me, but influenced me to get both of these fragrances. And I'm really happy with my purchases. So there is that. Then, let's see here. Um... Oh, I got another fragrance. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. And this one I got from Ulta. It is C by Armani. And I have never opened it up, so hold on a second. Let me just... I don't know why I picked this up. I don't need no damn fragrance. Y'all know I don't. But that's what it looks like. I just got the small roller ball version. And it's very strong. But it's like pink. The fragrance itself is like a pink. Um, so yeah. Got this. But y'all know I'm addicted to fragrance. Like addicted okay so then from honey i don't even know where i got this from but um this is the sally hansen miracle gel which i wanted to do this weekend but i can I, in the last four weeks i have not found the time to do my nails 
This is called Game of Thrones, actually. And I thought it was so pretty. So this is Game of Thrones. It's just a gold. And I don't have anything that is a gold. I have like a rose gold, but it's more of a glitter. And this is just so freaking pretty. So there's that. I also picked this up, I think, from my beauty supply store. I got this a while back, I just didn't show you guys. So this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this one is in Parique. Um, Parique, y'all see that? Okay, anyway, here's the color. So really, really pretty. And these come off, these soft matte lip creams, they come off just like they do in the tube. Like, and it is soft and matte. So there's that. Although they, they, they set, but it takes quite a while. And they will leave a slight stain. I just wiped it off. Okay, so from the drugstore, I had get, gotten um, a highlighter because I was looking for the new Wet n Wild collection and I found it, but they didn't have the highlighter because there's only two on the display case and um, they both were gone. So I ended up just picking this up. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. And this was $4.99, I think, 4 or $5.99. And this is what it looks like. And it's huge, like for real. So um, I just thought this was really, really pretty. And it has a lot of different shades in it, as you can see, like four different sections. And um, so that's that. Then from Ulta, let's get into the Ulta stuff. So, here is some of it. Okay, I picked up this Orly Epics um, nail polish. It says step one, but I don't know. I don't know what the hell step two and step three is. Anyway, it says flexible color, and it's got like this rubberized um, wand to it. If you guys know anything about this, let me know. But the color is in melodrama, and I just thought it was super pretty. And it was $12, it was three, mark down. And then I also got this, because I thought this would be pretty together. I'm a little different, but I think layering them would be really beautiful. This one is from Ulta and it's called Tinkerbell. And you can see a little clearance sticker on there. I just thought that was so pretty. So I thought that over top, it would really bring it out. Like the blue would really bring the pink out. I also picked up another NYX Butter Gloss and this one is in Eclair. It's a really, really pretty pink nude. And then they gave me a Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara. And that's what that looks like. So, those are just a few of the things I got from Ulta. So then I also went ahead and purchased some of the holiday sets. Um, first off, they had a sale on the rock five times the points, I think it was. And, oh, Lori Geller. <laughs> mm. My bad. 
Laura Geller, five times the points. And I have been wanting to try this beach mat. I looked it up and I didn't think I was going to like this, but it works in my skin. Hey, this is this is a baked here you go Nancy hydrating bronzer but it's called sunset deep y'all know how my skin tone is and like I can pull some stuff off that when you guys comment like you like I can't pull that off so um we need to be selling the makeup companies to get their ish together because that's it's like that all the time for me. Like, I had to really, really search, you guys, to be able to even find this bronzer. Like, most of the bronzers I have are The Rock. Um, now I have Laura Geller. I think I have two Laura Gellers. A MAC, which is really a blush. And um, I may have one more, but I can't think of what it is. That I use, like, often. Oh, my cover girls. So, I, I mean, I don't have a whole lot to choose from. But anyway, this is what it looks like in the package. And it just says New York on the front, Lord Geller, New York. And then on the back, it just has like, you know, Sunset Deep. And it has a huge mirror. And then this is what it looks like. I have used it before. Um, that's what it looks like next to my skin. And I have used it before. I know it looks like it's not deep enough. I thought so too. But when I was in the store, I swatched it like on my forehead and it did show up. Even though on the back of my hand, it really didn't. See, that's it on the back of my hand. It even looks lighter on my hand. But when I used it on my face in the store, I could see it. And I can see it when I apply it at home, too. So, um, there is the Laura Geller Sunset Deep. I don't know about being hydrated. I, I can't tell. But I think it's really good powder. And the fact that it's baked means it's going to last me quite a while. So, I also picked up this Essence Pure New Highlighter. Oh my gosh, so Emily Noel has been talking about this thing and it's called Be My Highlight. Number 10 is the only one that they had. Come on camera. Come on camera, pick it up. There we go, Be My Highlight number 10. Essence Pure Nude. And this is the only one that they had on the shelf. And um, Emily Noel was talking about this. And she said definitely to try it if I could get, you know, find it, get my hands on it. So that's what it looks like swatched on my finger. And I was like, that is too much, you know. But she's right. It blends out really, really well like it's just this sheen so can you see it I mean, that was the slightest touch, too. But that's how I like to be. I like shine. I don't like, you know, like glitter and all that there. So that's a highlighter for me. I also picked up the Too Faced um, Naughty Kisses and Sweet Cheeks palette. Okay, now there were three different boxes in there. But I took one out. So here are the products that were in that box. And this one. I don't, I mean, it, I don't think they named each one. Let's look on the back. 
Yeah, they didn't name each one. It's just the original. Oh no, this one is the milkshake. Yeah, lip gloss. And it's like this creamy, beigey tone. And then the blush is Baby Love. I did use it once. I liked how small it was. And um, what you see is what you get. What's inside of here is what it actually looks like. I'll show you. So that's Baby Love. And that's Baby Love. It looks exactly like in the container. Now these, I have a little bit of gloss on right now, but these bad boys burn. Like, I don't really necessarily know if they work though, but it don't, it, it burns, okay? There is color payoff, I will tell you that. But these bad boys, they hurt. Okay, they hurt. This is like, it, it feels like pain. Feels like a million bumblebees stung me in my face. And so then we have this one, which is the original and crazy in love. And then it also came with Dream Lover and like a boss, which is like a purple set. So um, I think these are excellent. That's why I picked them up and I will let you guys know what I think about them in the future or if you would like me to do like just like a swatch fest and all that stuff, let me know. So there's that. See, I put it on and it's, it's starting to burn already and I don't think it really works. But, um, it's a nice gloss. It does last for a really, really long time. Like, a really long time. And so does the burn. Okay, so, um, I bought these in, like, a makeup. Somebody was selling their makeup. Stephanie again. Which I will post her link to her channel down below. But anyway, um, she had two different sets and I picked them up. So this one is from Lorac. And this is, like, that four palette set that LaRock had um, a few years back. Um, hey, Devin, because I thought about you, girl, when I got these. Because um, I know you were trying to pan these, and I'm like, oh, I so have to see what this is all about. And, you know, I got that little discount. So they're like this suede packaging, and this one is called Queen, and it is your, like, red um, burgundy palette. Then you have Duchess, and Duchess is your navy. Then you have Countess, which is my favorite because Countess is green. And then Princess, and this is like a neutral. I also really like this one. So look at, like, that's the gold from the palette. Like, the colors are pretty fantastic. They absolutely do show up. And it's just the rock quality, you know what I mean? So was excited about that. Let me wipe this off. Honey, that blue is not going nowhere. Then I also picked up, she had the Stila in the moment. I don't have any, any Stila eyeshadows. I had one a while back and it was like the one that everybody goes crazy about. I forgot the name of it. But it's like pink and champagne, you know. And so anyways, um, I never, and this comes with 
this is the Stila in a moment and it comes with all these different eyeshadows and she still gave me the eyeliner so this is like a purple toned palette and yeah I just thought it was so pretty like this one is good and they're so soft this one is captive um, improvised spontaneous um, I have to do this purple glance so that's all of those let's just this is my favorite thing to do just swatch colors So, um, I really, really like this, you guys. So, I'm glad I picked that up. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So, those are those. Then, I also picked up, um, from Tree Hut, I got the Shea Body Butter in Moroccan Rose. Because I've been really, really dry. Like, my skin's been super dry. And I just needed something that was going to help me to fix that and I hope that it's this. I also have the Shea Sugar Scrub because maybe I need to scrub my skin and that would help too. And this mug is 18 ounces. This is pretty big. You know I use these so I figured I would enjoy that. And the last two I got the Tarte um, it says Works of Tarte Holiday 2016 um people are calling this like the paint yeah the paint palette the Tartese paint palette so i picked this up still in the packaging for y'all and i was gonna do a look with this huge mirror and i can't take it out so i was gonna do a look with this palette for you guys. I hope that you can, that was the plastic. I hope that you can see the colors um, pretty well. And then, let's put the plastic back in. These are also my first tart. Um, eye shades you know you get the drawer and in the drawer comes all of these and so I saw the blush palette but I just thought even for me that ain't gonna work so um I just picked up this palette and this is a highlight con I'm sorry contour and blush which this is not no contour for me that is just too damn light. It is my skin tone. So there is that contour shade. It's not gonna work. I mean, I barely got by with the, the Laura Geller, so I know I ain't gonna get by with that. So, anyway, but I thought this would be awesome to travel with, um, stuff like that. Just kind of like a one hit deal, you know? And I never really have picked up any of the holiday sets. Like, this is my first year picking up any of the holiday sets. So, um, just really wanted to see what that would be about. And my favoritest one. Yes, I just said favoritest. And no, I, I know it's not a word. Um, this. I picked up the Lorac Mega Pro 3. This is limited edition. I do like the Lorac shadows. Um... I think you guys know that from me trying to pan the other palette and I still use it all the time so that tells you right there that I really enjoy it and you get a huge mirror but this is what it looks like on the inside and it is so so pretty it's basically like getting two palettes like this up here would be a palette and then these down here would be a palette um, it was rather expensive, but like I said, it's like I just thought it was like buying two palettes. And the bottom two rows are shimmer, and the top two rows are matte. So, yeah. 
I'm really, really excited to use this, you guys. And I mean, I swatched it in stores and I think my favorite color is going to be Hickory, um, Rose Quartz, Olive. And then actually a lot of these like neutral shades over here are gonna be my go-tos as opposed to like these darker ones on this side. So that is everything that I got. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these items. And I will talk to y'all in the next one. Deuces.